I, I, I would say the 15 years I married my wife, I never knew her. When now this, when, when she started falling sick is when I knew how magnanimous she was. Personally, I'm in some WhatsApp group of the same age. People send those, uh, those funny clips and, and you know, if you know, if you know your wife does not like this kind of stuff, why don't you just delete it before we get to Nyumba? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's just as simple as that. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, welcome to Toko Talks. My name is Lynn Gogi. My guest today is someone you've met before. Do you hangla yako? He taught us the importance of sticking to your spouse for better, for worse, and redefined the phrase, true love is a gift. So without further ado, please allow me to let him introduce himself. Hello. Hello, good Hi. morning. How Hi. are you? I'm fine. Oh, please introduce yourself. Yes, my name is Eric Ofula, Erastas, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm not new to this station. I, initially, I was here when I was uh, doing, uh, when we were presenting uh, the story about my ailing wife. Mm -hmm and uh, I'm here to give you an update of how life has been wow. after we laid her to rest. Mm -hmm. yes. And I'm so happy to see you again. Thank you very it's much. It's eight months since we did the story, yes. right? And yes. I know a lot has changed. And yeah. my audience keep, uh, you know, they keep asking me, yeah. Lynn, what happened to Erastas? We tried updating them, but then we thought it would be best if you come yeah. and tell people what happened. That is very kind of you. Mm -hmm. And also it goes a long way to show that uh, Tuko does does not leave the does not leave a story hanging mm -hmm. and uh, they have to make a follow-up to see if everything else is is good and, absolutely uh, yes and uh, kindly keep up with the spirit thank you so much yep okay yeah all right so since we left your house yeah a lot has changed yes what has changed two weeks after we did the video shoot mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately my wife went to be with the Lord and uh, she died in peace. Initially, uh, how it happened was very funny because I landed a job at Boma Hotel. And uh, the day that I was to report to work, I remember very well it was on a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. The day that I was reporting to work, hardly had I even finished with the HR at mm -hmm. Boma, mm -hmm. I was called to go back home. And uh, only to be given the news that my wife had passed on. <coughs> So to me, it's like my wife bade me a good farewell. She was waiting for me to be stable, to get a job. She knows that uh, her kids are going to, to be okay, the two boys. Mm -hmm. And then uh, she said, let me, let me rest. I know my kids are going to be mm -hmm. taken good care of. And I remember very well the HR, Mohamed Weli. He called me, he told me, Eric, don't worry, regardless of what has happened to you, yeah. we are still going to stand by you. And uh, to my surprise, they gave me a whooping 100,000. Wow. From blues, and it was my day one wow. at work. They told me that is to help you to cut up for the funeral expenses. Mm. And I said, this is God sent. And they told me to mourn for a period of three weeks. Yeah. And from there, when I'm, when I'm through, they can come. And uh, I can call them and uh, see, we work on the modalities on how to, how I can get back to work, which mm -hmm. I did. Mm -hmm. I worked for three months. And uh, unfortunately, they were undergoing a restructuring program and uh, I was retrenched mm -hmm. amongst other people. And uh, fortunately, unfortunately, you know how these things work is, the last people to come in are the first ones to yeah, go out. So it was it's, quite unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, they gave me a shoulder to lean on, mm -hmm. and that was very quite. Uh, it was uh, it it was it was very quite important around that time because I also needed money to run bills and everything. Yeah, and yeah. they came in handy. They came in very handy. Okay, and I know you've had your mourning period. Yes. Of course, even if you, it's not something you anticipate, because this is someone you know. The whole country watched yeah. how beautifully you loved this woman. Yeah. Yes. And obviously you did not expect for her to pass on so early. Yeah. How was that like for you? Well, it came as a shocker in the first place because uh, nobody prepares for death. Yes. Many a times even when you know somebody is sick, you always cling to that hope that he or she is going to be okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
it was a challenge. It was a challenge because uh, you know you are just thrown into widower, widower, widowerhood. Widowhood, yes. <laughs> yes, and uh, at some point. <laughs> Uh, I'll be very open with you. Mm -hmm. I had to resort to drinking to try and forget uh, some of these issues mm -hmm. and uh, I realized that I'm not doing the right thing because should anything happen, my kids are going to be orphaned and uh, sometimes the influence you're going to get out there is not one of the best influences. Yeah. So I had to reconcile with myself mm -hmm. and I said that this is the journey I've started and I want to stick with this to, I want to stick with my family mm -hmm. and see that I provide the best for them. Yeah. yeah. Because now I'm like the epitome of the family. If anything happens to me, everything comes to a standstill. Yeah. So the most important thing was to first of all comfort the two boys and uh, tell them what had happened. Mm -hmm. For the big boy, uh, it took him like uh, a day or two to come to terms with it and uh, after that he came and uh, told me that you know dad mm. I've accepted mama's gone and uh, I'm going to stand with you no matter what happens we are going to be together as a family mm -hmm. and I think uh, it gave me a lot of courage because to say the least I had cowed I had cowered in my bedroom yes. and tried to mourn but I'm looking at my son, he's 12 years old. And he's telling you. He's telling me, actually it's, the, it's like he's the one who's giving me a direction on what to do. Mm -hmm. So I had to come out of my, <coughs> I had to come out of my cocoon and mm -hmm. uh, face the reality. And mm -hmm. I told her, I hugged her, I hugged him. And yes. I told him, it's going to be well. It's going to be Yeah, the young boy, uh, Kidogo, he was confused. Mm -hmm. He did not know because he's not used to seeing people streaming in the house and everything. Mm -hmm. But with time also, after we led the mother to rest, he came to accept it uh, very slowly. Yes. And uh, the most important thing I did is I enrolled him in school. And this really distracted him and the teachers in uh, Beacon Hope Academy, mm -hmm. where, where my kid learns. Mm -hmm. They really, they were of real help. Psychologically, they've helped him up to now now he's stable mm -hmm. yeah. and earlier on as we were talking even before we started shooting mm -hmm. you told me the importance of not blaming anyone for tragedy exactly mm -hmm. yes um sometimes uh you know in life you become mm -hmm. when when some things befall you you become very bitter with life and uh, naturally especially we western people mm -hmm. somebody does not just wake up and fall sick there has to be a reason behind it so you really have to make sure that, uh, how can I put it, uh, you try and accommodate everybody and go back to reason, return to reason and ask yourself where did this thing, what, did, what happened mm -hmm. and how best can we, can we overcome it yeah. rather than laying blames. Because I can tell you in a situation like I was in, emotions are very high. And chances are you can even uh, you can even start fighting one another. Mm. Also, to our family at large, it brought together the the whole family. You know, for quite a long time, yeah. we've not been cohesive. But uh, the that, that issue of uh, Mama Regan falling sick brought together the whole family, mm -hmm. and the, it brought uh, the it, it it brought out the importance of family sticking out together and yes. being there for one another mm -hmm. and up to date they've never left me they travel all the way from Mumias, Eldoret, Nemit Butere just to come and check on the kids mm -hmm. if they're okay and see how they and doing. see how they're faring on mm -hmm. and um, I was even surprised I even get calls from some of the relatives they're telling me Tell us, we come for them. But I tell them, no, I have to be there for them. I'm their dad. I have to mm -hmm. take responsibility. Mm -hmm. And uh, when need comes that I really need your help, yes, you I know you, you're going to be there for me. I didn't realize, I even had friends. Uh, uh, we have a WhatsApp group called Friends Forever. Yeah. They even went behind my back and even uh, they told the, the house elf that don't leave this house, even if Eric. Uh, Eric is not able to pay your salaries. We are going to pay. Mm. I came to learn these things just the other day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, they, they even told they even told the house 
even if it is the house shopping and everything. Tell us. Tell us. And we'll buy. Yes, but uh, mm. you know, the lure in me, the pride in me <laughs> cannot allow me to. <laughs> I, I, I always make. I always make, I always make. And uh, yeah. you know, sometimes as a man, go up to the last mile. And then when kifika pale no nambialin, nimefika musho. Miss idea. Miss idea. So it is good to hold, to hold your head high and uh, keep things cool. But it is not easy, Lynn, I can assure you. Yeah, even behind the, the courageous facet I used to show on TV and everything, yeah. still I was breaking down emotionally. It's very important to have friends who, 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 who've got a positive, who can influence you positively, mm -hmm. who can tell you this is the way to go. Mm -hmm. When life gives you lemons, make lemonades make out of lemonades it. Make lemonades out of it. Yes, yeah. don't fast. Mm -hmm. Don't fast that, yeah. oh God, why me? Mm -hmm. Why is it that it is happening only to, to me alone? No, people out there have got so many problems yeah. that instead of whining and complaining every time, why are these problems uh, following you everywhere? You should sit back and count your blessings and you'll see what God has yes. made for you. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. And well, you know, you're so positive yeah. and it, it encourages me as well. It yep. inspires yep. me yeah. because I know we've been in constant communication mm. and I've seen what you've gone through in that period of time. Yeah. What are some of the things your wife taught you that are helping you through this period? Okay, my wife, uh, initially, as I told you, she's, she's a, a perfectionist per se. Yeah. And uh, number one uh, thing that I learned from my wife was to uphold family values. She was one person who could not compromise anything to do with family. Mm -hmm. To her, family came first. And uh, she was somebody who had that attention to details. Mm -hmm. When she was doing something, she would make a follow-up. And uh, when now she fell sick, I didn't know. Uh, that she she was in so many groups, women groups, and you know, easily to akina mama wana jishikiliaga zinza zenye muna feature when when something goes wrong do sasa zinatokea zinatokea yeah. and the support through that I got to know many people and the support was very overwhelming and uh, I would say my wife was very secretive and. Uh, as secretive in a positive way, yeah. not in a bad way. Mm -hmm. And it all came out. Now, I, I, I would say the 15 years I married my wife, I never knew her. When now this, when, when she started falling sick is when I knew how magnanimous she was. She was kind-hearted. She was somebody who loved hel helping people. Mm -hmm. I, even, uh, I even have former employers who called me. And these are people where my wife worked 10 years ago in Mombasa. You can imagine. Wow, the impact. That is the impact. Yeah. 10 years ago, <laughs> all her employers, to be very honest with you, they called me and told me we are very sorry. We did not know this is what was happening. And everybody came on board. Mm -hmm. And um, in a nutshell, uh, my wife taught me team spirit is good and team power when you when you work as a team you will win you will achieve everything you'll achieve everything mm -hmm. despite your setbacks yeah. CCV to Zico people mm -hmm. quarrel mm -hmm. everything but mm -hmm. the team spirit the family spirit should be there should be there yeah wow. you cannot succeed as an individual you must have a team you must work as a team you, you must work as a team yeah and yes. it's important yes you know? and the overwhelming support you got from you know everyone who watched the yes, video yes. you know I have Absolutely. never seen in my life yeah people come together the way they came for you yeah and call you and even text us and ask us how can we get in touch with this man yeah. we want to help this man yeah. just getting that support from people you have never met yeah. people you have never seen yeah. how was that like for you to me at first it was overwhelming because I'm a very I'm a very phone shy person I don't like picking calls yeah. My phone was ringing until up to the wee hours of the morning. Mm -hmm. So I had to respond to every queries people were asking me. And uh, I think to me that made me to be, I emerged stronger. Because, you know, as initially I told you, uh, sometimes you might think you're the one who, who is in a really big problem. Yeah. But you know, people call you as far as the US, Germany, mm -hmm. South Africa, and mm -hmm. they tell you their stories and what they've gone through. Mm. 
and uh, I'm always uh, sympathetic to the fact that a better part of my the people who are calling me were uh, ladies or female, can yes. I put them? Yeah. And uh, they were telling me, Eric, you are a strong man. Mm -hmm. I had cancer and my husband abandoned me and he abandoned the kids and all the responsibilities but I thank God that I've come out of it. But you are such a strong man. You stay, stand with your family. Mm -hmm. And uh, wow, I said, okay, I didn't know I'm going to touch so many people's heart. I even have a friend from America. He's called Nyoro. He's somebody we used to school with. Yeah. And uh, he, made an, he made an effort to get my number. Mm -hmm. And he told me, he actually told a friend we used to work together called yeah. Karanja mm -hmm. in Limuru. Mm -hmm. He told him that, that guy has set the bar so high that I've even, I've even, I, I even went to my wife and told him, I, we really need to have to, to sit down and talk. Wow. Yeah. I mean, like I'm serious. You set the bar so high yeah. for men because, because actually we did not expect the video to have as much traction as yes. it did. Yes. But everyone was commenting with, this is exactly yeah. what true love looks like. This is exactly what true love should be like. Yeah. Yeah. And did you think what you did restored that hope in relationships that you can actually love someone for better, for us, and stick with them till the end? Aline, I'm telling you for a fact that uh, for the men who called me, they yeah. told me they've really, they've really had to reinvent the way they look at things. Yeah, you know sometimes you might take somebody for granted, yeah. you might take your family for granted at the expense of. Uh, other things mm -hmm. but uh, when a problem comes or when a problem crops in it is you and your family you mm -hmm. are left alone mm -hmm. to sort it out and hence the importance of being together and uh, to the male to the to the male fraternity they told me that uh, I've really challenged them and uh, most of them are going to change because of what you the, did. Because of what I did. Mm -hmm. But to me, the number one thing, it was, uh, that story was like a unifying factor for all families all over the world. Yours was a special case. Yeah. Yours was something that, you, you even encouraged me as a person, you know. Mm -hmm. I was like, if I'm ever going to love someone, this is exactly how mm -hmm. I want to love them, for better, for worse. For us, yeah. But then we can't negate the fact that so many marriages are breaking apart. Yeah. And people c cannot stay with their partner for this long. Yeah. We've done stories where um, your spouse left you after mm. you became sick. Mm -hmm. So talk to people at home. Mm -hmm. Talk to all partners, all spouses who are going through a tough time right now mm -hmm. and just encourage them. Okay, what I would like to en encourage the audience and uh, everybody mm -hmm. in Kenya and worldwide is um, no marriage is perfect. Yeah, and uh, um, I would also try to encourage the audience to, to marry for the right reasons. Yeah, and uh, the most mm. important thing is to avoid the, the pressure. There's too much pressure and uh, people should learn to, to, to run their race. You know, most marriages, uh, they don't break up because of, uh, okay, people will tell you oh, infidelity or anything. Marriages break up because of lack of communication. That's it. Yeah. Simple. Very simple. Mm -hmm. We live in a we live in a cosmopolitan world. We live in a world that, uh, especially, I would say, the social media has really taken a better part of our life. Mm -hmm. Personally, I'm in some WhatsApp group of the same age. People send those uh, those funny clips and. And you know, if you know, if you know your wife does not like this kind of stuff, why don't you just delete it before we get to Nyumba? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just as simple as that. Yeah, yeah. Kindly learn to know what your person likes mm -hmm. and what the other person mm -hmm. doesn't like. Doesn't like. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, these days, ah, I'll see her. Lin, eh, Lin Nimsupu. Eh, she's a dope lady. Yeah. And that's it. And that's it, eh? <laughs> you know. And then I'll go brag to my wife. Well, Leon, me pata de muyo, no na. 
knife material. Yeah. Kumbe wewe kuna vile unaniangalia in a very different way. Mm. Unaona Eriko mm. ni mse wa outing, Eriko mm. anasuki poa. Mimi naona tu ka vits. Unaona tu ka vits, unaona. Mm. So marry for the right reasons. Yeah. And when you marry for the right reasons, mm -hmm. everything will fall will fall into place. Mm -hmm. A parting shot to me is to ladies. Women are homemakers, not homebreakers. You just know that. I cannot explain further, mm -hmm. but just know that women are supposed to be homemakers. They're not homebreakers. Not homebreakers. Wow. And you know what I love about you? You've never been shy to talk about these things here. Yeah. And I know like right now you don't have a job. Yep. So in case uh, one of our audience is watching yes. and they don't know your qualifications, would you <laughs> kindly brief them once again? I know we did it in the previous yeah, yeah, video, yeah. Mm. but someone might be watching this for the first time. Yeah, thank you very much for mm -hmm. that opportunity. Mm -hmm. I'm an accountant by profession, CPAK. Uh, currently, I'm pursuing SCCA, mm -hmm. though in the advent of whatever happened, yeah. I had to postpone a lot of my, my studies just to concentrate on uh, the family at first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I have 15 years experience in accounting. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I'm a multitasker, team player, yes. and uh, ready to meet challenges mm -hmm. with good communication and interpersonal communication skills mm. okay. yeah thank you so much Erastas, for yeah. coming yeah. anything else you would like to add no i would like to mm -hmm. to thank the tuko family mm -hmm. for standing with me and uh for giving me this opportunity for the second time yes uh serena not to mention serena serena <laughs> serena has a place in my heart Go on. serena mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, we also have Sankara Hotel. Mm -hmm. the, those people, you know, it's like a family. They keep on calling me, Eric, how are the kids? Is everything okay? Where can we help? Yes. You know, yeah, at Boma Hotel, it used to be like the norm of the day because, you know, I was there daily. How yeah. are the kids faring on? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, sometimes you could walk mm -hmm. because I did, when I went there, me, I did not tell people, oh, you know, I'm Eric. You know, people were just guessing, is yeah. this the person? Is mm -hmm. this the person? But you could see guys who are proud to be associated with me. Yeah. Even uh, the family at large, I would like to thank them for the support. And mm. Kenyans and Kenyans in Kenya and in diaspora. Yeah, thank you so much once again yeah. for coming. Yeah. I really do appreciate yeah. and always know you can always count on us for anything. Thank you. Yeah? Thank I you. hope guys you enjoyed this episode of Tuko Talks. Let us know what other stories would you want us to do a follow up on and most importantly I hope you got inspired by Erastas once again. My name is Lynn Googie. Till next time bye bye.